Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackball. Bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. Family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, but Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the bitches here. <laughs> like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing the drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally, I had a chance to take some action shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures. When I've been slacking off, speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. He wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether I love or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so Hello, even bonehoods like me can uh, kind of understand. Hey Yuri, what's up dude? Welcome to the stream. We are playing a, uh, a story game apparently. Uh, was not anticipating this but... We stopped playing uh, Metal Gear Rising because that game was crap. I was very upset. Anyway, as on with the story. Uh, like me, can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means actually ask asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October 1st. October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary moves yet. Soon, Katie let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures of one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or Vortex Club stoke, Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. <laughs> At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy as my parents love telling me on loop, you have all the time in the world. All right, we just did a crap ton of reading, guys. Oh, hi, doggo. You're going to snuggle? Okay, you can snuggle. Lay down. There you go. Good doggo. Booby slaps. Okay. Um. So we read all those. I think we're done, guys. I think shame, we can... Shame. Ah! Capturing the romantic I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Poet. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to now, get my daily selfie quota. Stark Americana with South daily selfie quota. Photographs. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I think it's adorable. But I like it old school. Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. Selfie. The selfie. I do love uh -huh. my analog camera. I, I should take a quick picture now. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if it... I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic yeah, tradition. If you didn't want to get attention, you wouldn't want to do that. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self 
portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style. Daguerreotypes? Like now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Shut up! Very good, Victoria. Don't be a bitch. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Yeah, hipster and The hipster. first American daguerreotype self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Why is the printer highlighted? And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday I want to be Heroes her friend. Contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco What's her name, where Kate? you'll be fed by I the be her friend. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, no, no hi. Stella, Alyssa, for your Taylor. Tour. Yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Huh? She's got called out, this sucks. <laughs> all right, all right. I missed, ooh, notebooks. Wait a minute, those aren't mine. Waste a second kissing ass. Hold up. Hey, Kate, how are you? You don't look very good. Are you okay? Shut up, looks so sad lady. And quiet today. Hey. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You are not okay. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Oh, I feel bad. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. Yeah, let's go get some tea. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Who am I gonna have to end to protect you, Kate? Rude. I'm gonna take this paper ball and throw it back at that bitch. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. We love your porn video. Purge. Wow. No. All right, guys. Um. So what we just read about Kate was she's part of religious groups and she's part of the abstinence campaign. I'm scared. Can you stop for a minute, doggo? I'm scared that she actually slept with someone or something and the dude was a douche and recorded it. And if that's the case, we're going to have to go on a murder rampage. We will turn this into a bloodbath. That's not okay. You don't do that. What are you doing, doggo? I will have to murder someone. Extra marks. All right. Photo. Oh, no. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Sure. Take a picture of it. Amber love forever. Okay. All right. This is bitches stuff. What is this? Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I actually don't give a shit about her at all, so I don't want to go snooping in her shit. I just hate you. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. I can't walk over there. Mr. Jefferson. Ugh. Camera. Can I look at this? Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 that may not be that camera. Okay, but neither is Murder V. Nah, I'd murder but the crap out of these video game characters. Camera. Picture. What do we got? Let's look at this. You can never the lighthouse. the lighthouse here. Hey. We're no, stop. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. That's a cool photo. I like that. What do we got here? TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Right, here's the photo contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. 
one image okay well, I'm 18 so I get to submit it however I want books so cool that we can check these out anytime the decisive moment by Henry Cartier Bresson that's rare any leap of its mad respect the amazing Eugene Smith good to see Avedon among the masters golly of course Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. I what? like the kind of passion she has in photography. Like I don't know anything that she's talking about, but she's very passionate about it and I like it. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Like, that's one of my favorite things in life is actually listening to someone talk about their passions because you could actually you see them start to glow and light up and you actually can, like, get a glimpse of, like, the beauty of a little bit of humanity of someone like it. I, I think that something makes people beautiful is when they can talk about their passions. And I, I really enjoy doing that. Or that having was the opportunity. Amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though There's I didn't me. want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at Where's work Kate? training us. Oh, she's right behind me. We'd be observant, invasive. Right, that poster. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. You know everything she's talking about? <laughs> that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with the computer. Thing. When I don't suck. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I didn't get all she said about the printer. So we gotta listen to it again. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, the cameras. That printer is amazing. There it goes. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Yeah, she was talking about uh, photography and different cameras. I'm gonna use Looks the computer. Like somebody was already working on this. Cool. So let's not mess it up. Ow, Jada. Kate. Kate. Let's talk later, Max. All right. Ah! What's her picture? Okay, she's just drawing. Okay, she's doing schoolwork. I hate you. I probably should talk to her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I don't want to look at her stuff. She's just going to use it against me to get pissed. I see you, I'm Max done. Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. You could have said something earlier when I was walking around your room. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. All right, where's my mouse? Okay. Uh, if this was me, I would be like, I recall being in a photo class in college and teaching. Oh, nice. I like photography. I wish I had an eye for it. I don't. My little sister does though, and like, I'm trying to encourage her to get into photography stuff um, because she's taken some pretty awesome photos. All right, she wants me to turn in a picture. I would really not want to. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young. The world is yours. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Blah, blah, but blah. But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Some people don't like sharing those artists. That was like, um, what was that game we just played, guys? Um, the guy that did Stanley Parable. 
where it's like some people don't want to share their art with the world they just want to be something that they did themselves and maybe share it with just a couple people that they trust some people don't want to share it with the world you don't like that guy yeah i think like i think he's coming from a his heart is in the right place by like wanting to encourage her but at the same time like he's kind of going around douche way i don't like you kate or er, victoria all right i can leave now yeah i gotta move my legs are killing me there we go all right, open. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you right. always oh God, is that dude? Cute? Hot. Then I might send oh. you a special picture and tag you. I'm not paying $150. Frat boy. He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Did I just hear Splash someone talk about me? Face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that. This is my Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant plant. Fuck off! This is why high school sucks. People are just jerks for the sake of being jerks. Your light doesn't get brighter by putting dimming someone else's up. Bleh. Your life doesn't get any brighter by putting out someone else's. This music is awesome! Alright, Courtney and Taylor. Whoa! I like this. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Oh, I feel bad for you. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Science room. Missing person poster. Uh oh. Angel Amber. Tattoo and calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Okay. Alright, do I go to the science room? Or should I observe people? Alyssa, hi! Alyssa is I like your hair. She doesn't hang out with a lot of people. She's got two cross necklaces. I like your hair. Hey. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Who are you? Miss Fast Walker. Hold on. You're missing some context, but you're just going by the few things I saw. Your life doesn't get any brighter by dimming out someone else's. <laughs> uh, it's quote ad. Ooh, a locker. My locker. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. All right, where are you going, doggo? This music is great. I love that picture of mom and dad. Oh, Hello, I thought that was dad. Bill Murray. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I thought it was that Bill Murray photo that you see everywhere. Justin, what's up? I like your hat. That's Dana talking to... Oh. I think his name is Justin. Hello. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to Yeah, I was gonna say, just because someone's beautiful doesn't mean you gotta hate them. Stella is always deep in her mouth. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Stella is always no, stop. I'm trying to look over here. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Hey, Brooke.